How did it feel? How did you? How would you assess your performance out there? Uh, it feels great being out there, just being with the guys. I'm um, just playing, playing free, having fun. Um, I said I did a pretty good job. Obviously, always tough to clean up, but um, overall, I think it was good. I think office did really well. Um, so a lot to look forward to. Connor, first couple series, you had you know 60 plus yard, you know throws. What you kind of see on those those first two, like the first one I think was a three play drive, and the next one was like a one play drive. What do you, what do you remember about those throws? Yeah, I, I, I just remember. Got fast guys running down the field, so you know, just give them a chance to make a play. And uh, you know, when you get opportunities like that, you want you want to try to capitalize. So, Connor, which plays from last season to this season do you think is your biggest improvement? I feel like I've gotten a lot better with my accuracy. Um, that's something that every quarterback's trying to improve. Um, but just accuracy and, and pocket presence, those are those are big things that you can say over and over again, but are really hard to fix. So I feel like I've gotten better at those, and I'll keep keep trying to uh, improve over the summer to the fall. We sure. talked to Chip last week about how much how much value you got out of the film from the bowl game. And he's like, hey, you're a studious guy. You've been in there. You've squeezed every drop of the at film to your advantage. What are some of the things that you saw in the, in the game film from the bowl game that you have totally made a point of emphasis to fix here in the last few months? Yeah, I've, I've made a point, like I, like I said before, uh, pocket presence, that's a huge thing. Um, you know, not leaving my pockets early. I, I know, I can, I know I, I'm fast. I have, I have good legs. But... You know, when to use them and knowing when not to is, is a really hard thing to balance. And uh, I've been working on that a lot in the spring. Just my feet and making sure I'm not getting too squirrely in the pocket. Um, all that stuff, is, it's hard to fix, but I've been working on it. Anything else, especially with, if you go back and think about what you saw in the moment in time in the game, and you watch it on film, you think, okay, you're talking about pocket presence, but vision and just maybe things that you saw in film that you didn't see in the game. Yeah, I would also say, like, decision making is huge. Um, and that, that comes with just, you know, with reps and, and studying. Uh, so that's, that's just something that comes with, you know, more time playing the position. But obviously, like, when you're in the, in the game and there's some decisions uh, making problems that you have that, that I had in, in the game, that's what I'm trying to fix. But that's been the same throughout uh, all my time here and all my time playing quarterback. So, um, What would you say your just overall approach to this spring has been in terms of the competition and try, trying to win the job? And how would you say that matches up to where you think you are leaving this spring? Like, how have you approached it, and how what, what kind of overall performance do you think you've given? Yeah, so I, uh, approaching it, I, I t tell myself um, just do the best that I can do. Uh, some things are out of my control, some things are out of my control. Anything that's in my control, you know, I have to I have to work the hardest. I have to you know, watch as much film as I can. I have to, you know, lead as much as I can. Uh, control all the controllables, um, and not try to worry about all the outside stuff too much because you know that stuff just is not important, so uh, I feel like I made a point of this at coming in, and I think I, I stuck to my guns a lot during spring. Um, obviously, still a lot of stuff to work on, but I think I did a pretty good job. Sure, you would have loved to have had JJ, Gavin, Cody out there, but it seemed like guys like Barry Green, Alex Taylor, and Jordan Ship they had really good games. What can you say about the way they worked this spring? And yeah, they, they developed with them? yeah, they've done an awesome job. They've done a great job. Um, sometimes it's harder for for younger guys to get reps in the spring if you know the guys are there. I think it's great that they've been able to get reps and they have completely stepped into the role. Um, they've been doing an awesome job. Um, expect them to, you know, make, uh, get some get some reps in the fall just because they they've experienced and now they've had a spring under their belt. So it's, it's great for them. You guys have a lot of talent on offense, including at tight end. How would you assess just that talent in that room within three guys deep that you have? I, it, it's great to see. It's, we're doing um, going against the defense and we're doing so right now. And you, you sit back for a second and think like. Well, we don't have we don't have JJ, we don't have Gavin, we don't have Bryson. Like man, we had a chance to be really good offense. When you, when you sit back and think about it, so. Can you take us kind of through the three touchdown throws today? Obviously, had the one, the big one, Nate, you know, separated, and and then you had one in Jordan Ship. Just like what you were seeing, what happened? Can you sort of break each each one of those three down? Yeah, yeah. So um, the first one, um, uh, started my eyes to the left. I saw a safety come down. Um, Navari's one of the fastest on the team, so. Thought he got over top of him. I just, I just let it loose and, and gave him a chance. Um, second one, uh, I got I got Nate, and he was he was one on one with the nickel. Uh, I love the matchup, so I took him. The third one had uh, Jordan Ship. He's been catching a lot of fades. He has amazing ball skills. So if, it, if I get him one on one, goal line, try to take a chance. What is the balance <clears throat> in the quarterback room when you're competing against another guy for a job, and you're the one who's been here for a while? Uh, is you have to have some kind of relationship. You guys have to get along to a certain degree when you're competing, but you're also competing for something very serious. How do you balance all that? 
Yeah, I said it's definitely a tough thing to balance, but I mean, we're we're both we're both great dudes, we're both you know men of God, and we you know we understand we're competing, but we understand like, like we're just people, and you know we're trying to help each other. You know, we're talking about everything because we're the only two people that's going through what we're going through. You know, nobody else in the country is, is in this place at this time, and so when somebody's going through what you're going through, you know, you kind you kind of bond. You kind of no one else has that experience, so I think it's been good. So you guys are bonded. Yes, sir. He's been through this before in other places. Mm -hmm. uh, How's how has that helped you, those conversations where you're just shooting the breeze and he's relaying some of his experiences? How has it helped you so? I, I think it's helped me a lot. You know, he's, like you said, he's been on a lot of places. He's seen a lot of a lot of guys. He was he was a freshman when Joe Burrow and some guys were there. Um, so he's seen a lot. And, uh, you know, that you know, knowledge is his priceless. So. Connor, what is the time between now and the first official practice back in August uh, in preparation for the season? What does that look like for you? What kind of things are you going to work on? Um, obviously, just keep working on my body, making sure I'm staying healthy. You know, that's that's a that's a huge part. Um, a lot of guys that, that didn't play in the spring, we didn't want to get hit. Um, we got to you know get some time with them, of course. Kobe, Gabo, JJ, Bryson. So we're gonna spend a lot of time getting uh, time with the receivers because we didn't get as much in the spring, obviously. So that's gonna be a, a huge point of emphasis. And uh, you know, just doing what we, just doing what we know as an offense. Um, it's gonna get us to a championship, and you know, we have our standards. We're gonna stick to that during the summer, during the fall. You got coming into the coming into the spring. Obviously, you already had a year under Chip Lindsey's, you know, offense, and kind of coming into this year, like how I guess much of a comfort I guess was that you know going to a system that already was you know a little bit familiar to you. Yeah, I mean that that's great because uh, you know my first year out, I was with Coach Longo, second year kind of switched, so I had to learn the offense. So I have, being the second year in the offense, it's kind of switches from learning the signals, learning like the plays, switches from that to you know being able to go to the next level. I feel like a little bit. I, I kind of. Um, I don't have to learn as much as 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 far as plays and signals. You know that, that stuff's already already got down, so I can you know move on to other stuff like uh, reading defenses and, and what you know whatever else I need to. When we were talking to him, uh, I guess it was a couple weeks ago now. He was saying like kind of the for some of those newer guys like the spring install isn't you know but so big like you know kind of simplifying it. Like would you kind of you know agree with that assessment that it's like you know. You know, especially for some of the new guys coming in, that's been you know kind of digestible for them to kind of adjust. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say we definitely did a good job of keeping it simple. Um, you know, being good at what we at what we run instead of having a lot of stuff. Um, just being really, really good at, at, at a few things and uh, executing them at a high level. You got we a, made an emphasis of that, and we, we stuck to it. Sorry about you that. Good. Jumped in there. You got a couple of new running backs <clears throat> behind Amari. What are your thoughts about Darwin, the older guy who's also been around like Act, yeah. and then Davion who. Is he as fast as the nickname Bullet? With oh yeah, he's awesome. Uh, Darwin and, and Bullet. Um, yeah, both of those guys are great. They're gonna be great additions to the team. Um, I'm really glad to have him here. They both picked up offense really well. Um, I, I think Bullet has has picked up. You know, a, a lot of guys see him see him running and see him you know, catching out of the backfield, but he is pass protected like I've never seen a, a freshman do before. And it's to come in and, and just pick up, being able to know where blitzes are coming from. And that's the hardest thing for a running back coming in as a freshman, and he's been picking it up. Like nothing, so that's uh, impressive. When you, when you were recruited, Coach Brown said you're in the home visit. You felt you were really comfortable because she spent a lot of time on this golf simulator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get out, trying to get into golf a little bit. Yeah, every time I go to Coach Brown's house, I'm here in the summers, and when he has all the recruits over, and for, I'm getting food, and I'm going upstairs to the golf simulator, trying to try to work on my game because I'm not the best right now. But yeah, no, nah, it's. It's a part of you being comfortable. Coach Brown's really inviting, and yeah, it's definitely a memory. You mentioned that the uh, that second year in the offense. Is there something philosophically about this Chip Lindsey offense that you feel like is finally starting to click now that you have this extra spring? Yeah, hundred percent. When you when you've run the same play so many times, it's like you you know exactly where you want to go with the ball. I mean, not exactly always, but you you know what you're looking for in every play, and you. you some stuff that comes up uh, when you when you run you haven't run a play as much you know you kind of have it down after running running it for a while. Now obviously you know I have a lot of stuff to fix. I have a lot of stuff to work on, but you know, it's definitely helped when you run a play twice as many times as, you, as I have before. So. And then obviously on the other end of the ball, you're not interacting with him as much. But just tell me a little bit about what you've seen from Collins. I know that Matt Brown said that there have been some times of scrimmages where he's even gone over to the guys on offense and you know chest bump them. So yeah, I wouldn't say sometimes. I'll say he does it all the time. Okay. <laughs> all, all the time. And I, I think that's great. He brings a bunch of energy to the whole team. 
Uh, yeah, he, he always he's always talking to me and Max and all, all the quarterbacks and encouraging us every practice. He'll come say good job, practice Connor, whatever, whatever. Um, and I think that's great. I think that's that's great that he's it's good to focus on defense, but he, he also comes and encourages the whole team. And I, I think he's doing a really good job, and I'm excited for what our defense is going to bring this year. Connor, what have the coaches and Chip told you about how they're grading you and Max? Like, what what does that process look like, and what is the feedback? Just that they're they're giving you in terms of spreading it all out. Yeah, I mean uh, they're looking at you know a lot of little stuff. Um, our footwork they've made a huge emphasis on um, getting the ball out quick and and not wanting to take sacks. Um, not turning the ball over is a huge point emphasis for everybody. But you know they that's a, that's a big thing that 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 they uh, measure us on. And I'm um, just making good decisions, making good decisions over and over and over, being consistent. Um, that's that's what they're measuring us on, and they're they're doing a good job of letting us know. Um, what they what they want out of us, and I, I think, um, you know, every coach in the room is is doing a good job of making sure that we know um, what they want us to work on. So, any lessons you're taking from you know Drake during this time, just that you learned from you know working with him over the past few years? So. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Drake Drake's still in the building a little bit, so he comes comes around and you know he gives him some pointers here and there. Um, I, I think the big thing is you know I've, I've been with Drake a lot and. He, he wants me to play free. He wants me to, you know, just, just play football. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff people are gonna tell me. A lot of stuff coaches are gonna tell me. But at the end of the day, like, I'm the one back there behind the center. I'm the one that has to, you know, see the rush come in and see whatever. And you know, he wants me to just play loose and, and just play football. All right. Thanks, Hawk. Yes, sir. <laughs>